So there's a bit of confusion as to what is the exact role of a music supervisor. So I figured let's break it down in a story so that you could follow along. And if there's any music supervisors out there, if something is wrong, please correct me in the comments. So once upon a time, there's a music supervisor named, I don't know, let's call her Sally. And she got hired to work on a new TV show. She is tasked with making sure she finds the perfect songs to set the mood, enhance the story, and give a sonic palette of a scene so that you can almost listen to the TV show passively and still know what's going on. Way harder than it looks. Sally has to spend hours upon hours listening to music and trying to imagine how it would fit and if it's actually legally okay to use in the show. Then she gathers these things together, gives it to the director and says, hey, I think this music's perfect. And if the director doesn't like it, like nine times out of 10, sometimes they'll throw away the whole playlist and ask you to go do it again. Creatives working with creatives is not normally the most rewarding thing. Let's just say that. Also, did I mention she's probably on a deadline? So after maybe a back and forth and trying to figure out exactly what kind of stuff they want, the director signs off on it and says, okay, this music's perfect for every scene that we need in this episode of the TV show. Now it's Sally's turn to go do her due diligence and check to make sure that all the music that they approve has already been cleared legally. Because if it's not done legally, guess what? Someone's getting sued for copyright infringement because it's been embedded into another piece of intellectual property. So she reaches out to all the copyright owners. If you're the single owner of a piece of music, you're probably more likely to get your music placed in the TV show. And she will actually negotiate with the budget that her director or the company that she's working for has given her to negotiate with each single artist or copyright owner of each piece of music that they're using. Throughout the post-production process, after the songs have actually been cleared, sometimes they need to be tweaked a little bit so that the timings are right. Other times in post, they'll figure out, oh wait, this song actually doesn't work for what we're trying to do now. Maybe stuff has shifted. And so they have to go out and pick another song to fit in place of whatever they had before. At the end of the day, Sally's hard work has finally paid off. The show has aired. All the episodes are done. She's probably working on another project right now. The music in the show was a huge hit and the artists that actually got selected for that TV show, they've gotten huge spikes in their audience and it's helped them create a actual success as a music artist. Sally feels really proud that she was able to help put another independent artist on without breaking a budget with a label artist. And then she rinses and repeats a million times over. And that, to my perspective, is a day in the life of a music supervisor. There's probably 18 million other things that they do that we're just not privy to. Music supervisors, type in the comments if I got anything wrong. Follow to get synced.